Jack to Jeep. Today I'm going to talk about five mods that I wish I never would have done to my Jeep. Stay tuned. Number five for me has to be my tinted windows. I hate it. When we're driving at night, we get a lot of reflection from headlights. So a lot of times at night, we have to roll the windows down, drive. Otherwise, and it's hard to see, I'm in my garage, but you can see some of the reflections. It's actually a lot worse at night. Very dangerous. So uh, yeah, tinted windows, number five. Number four has to be these helo rims. Great rims, but nonetheless, with these hollow gaps in here, you get tons of, of brake dust. These are actually under a, a week old, and you see the dust on them. Um, they do wear well. I don't like bead locks, never will go to bead locks, but I'm gonna be going to some black rhinos soon, so. Number four has to be these helo rims. Number three has to be the control system for my winch. I would much rather have went with a remote control one that's wireless, um, much more maneuverability on the trail. You don't have to worry about plugging stuff in. If you're getting a problem, just hook it up, hop back in, and winch yourself out. Number two has to be for me my DD8 hood. I love the way it cools the engine down. The vents do a great job at keeping it cool, um, especially under extreme heat. But what I hate about it, and I don't know if it was done at manufacturing, I don't know if it was done in shipping, but a lot of the lines, a lot of the, um, the corners, for example, here in the front, they don't match up. It doesn't look good. I don't like the way it, the lines look on it. Nonetheless, it does work great, but the lines and, and the way it looks, it's just not for me. Number two, DV8 hood. All right, so my number one for mods that I wouldn't do with the Jeep would definitely be this armor here. Even though it works great, um, it really just protects it from any rocks that are getting kicked up from the tires. But I had hail damage on my Jeep. I couldn't replace the B-pillar right above the sliders at the back corners. So I ended up going with this Poison Spider steel armor. It fit great, nothing against Poison Spider, nothing at all. Nonetheless, I did it myself. And with that being said, by myself, no assistance. Um, so a lot of the, the holes, a lot of the things that I put in there were kind of off and uh, it was just a headache. Um, I definitely wouldn't go with steel again. I would definitely, because of the weight difference, I would go with the aluminum armor. Um, that way I think it would just, you want to of course make it a lot lighter. It would still serve the same function. Um, but I would also definitely, definitely, definitely get it professionally installed. That way you don't have all these funky looking bolts sticking out everywhere. Anyway, make sure you click the subscribe button. Also, please click the bell. That way you can be notified of any new videos, content, whatever. That was my top five, what I wouldn't do again in my Jeep.